Oh, well, how's it going this afternoon there, YouTube? Well, uh, I guess you guys are probably getting pretty, uh, interested in this project I got sitting out here in my driveway. Well, I'm sure if you guys could tell by the little cold start video I did there last Saturday or Sunday, that I bought a 2005 GMC Sierra off a buddy of mine. Now, it's kind of needed somewhere to store it and he was kind of getting rid of it he kind of needed a place to store it so he knew I wanted a project so that's kind of how it all unfolded now it's a it's a project vehicle it needs a little bit of work done but I've been watching these YouTube channels you know there's one guy I just watched this morning he did a this he built a 2017 F350 out of a salvage lot so I figured if he can do that I can manage this so uh, anyway here's a close look at the truck got a six inch lift on it now the 35s I'm going to give back to him unless I can buy them from him which I know they are for sale because I was gonna buy a lift for the white truck or as, as I call it big dirty you know the white truck here is gonna get a seven and a half inch lift for that and I was gonna buy the 35s off this truck to go on the white truck of course the lift got sold on me so I mean I also knew that he was getting rid of this truck at that point too, so I kind of wasn't too disappointed on that because I knew this one would be coming up for sale here soon, so. But the funny thing kind of is, those dirt trucks I got on the white truck were the winter tires to go on this uh, other truck here, so I've already kind of got bits and pieces of it, so I, here it sits now. I mean, by, by, by no means is it a, a new vehicle, but it's a, a project, and it's not really too far gone. It does have a few cosmetic issues here. We're going to throw a set of front fenders on it. This is the worst out of all of it. Here is some rust here in the fenders. But the truck's got a basically new front end under it. It's got new brakes in it. it got, looks like it's got a new water pump on it. I just took the bull bar off the front. You guys can see the mounts underneath there still. So, uh... Uh, it's something to clean up and whatnot and have your fun with it and get, sell it to someone else I think so uh, this fender's not as bad but still oops didn't mean to do that it's still kind of punky but uh that's ah, not too bad there's a guy up in Arma Dante who's got a bunch of these trucks he's parting out and they've actually got a whole set of fenders he might even throw in a hood for me the hood's actually in pretty good shape in this one so I might not take the hood but the fenders in it's got a set of factory fender flares for it, and I can have the whole set for around 200 bucks, so that's not too, too bad. The truck did used to have flares on it before, you guys can see by this outline here on the bed, and the bed's actually not in bad state, not in bad shape. We've got a little dinker back here, because it got backed into back last winter, so that'll punch out pretty easy, because it's all open from the back side here, so uh, when, the, when the weather gets warmer here, we'll... Uh, tinker around with that a little bit oh and how this relates to a farm toy channel got an international harvester logo on the tailgate so that's for you guys that are saying well why are you putting a getting a truck for a farm toy channel here well there you go I mean I've always had trucks and whatnot too and of course I think this is has to be I think the fourth truck I bought now so it is something to play with got these LED taillights in it they're pretty cool looking even still on the front here, we've got these, I believe they're off a C3 Denali. These are the Denali style headlights. It's got a Cloud Rider grill in it, so it's a nicely done truck. It's got the, I believe these are off a, off a Suburban or a Tahoe. It's got the color match door handles on it, and it's got the little chrome imprint on it. This one back here pops out, but that's easy enough to fix. It's actually not in bad shape. The rockers aren't too, too bad. I'm starting to get a little bit punky back here. I might put a set of cab corners in it too, but uh, they're not too, too bad to do. But anyway, we've got the interior, the interior kind of pulled apart because he wants his sound system back, which that's that was part of the deal. You know, I, I, he had a toolbox and he's got the light bars on it, which I guess is kind of our first mod, I guess you guys could say, is the uh, light bar delete. So... Give him his light bar back and a few little doodads and whatnot off it, which is that was part of the deal before we even before I even decided to buy it from him. So that's just how it works. So I've got the interior pretty well pulled apart now. I've got a lot of the dash parts off. And some of you guys this might look like a rat's nest, but it's really not too too bad. 
this there's just a panel that pops off here and a little panel goes up there a lot of that's just all the wiring for the radio and whatnot he's got amps and stuff you got all kinds of stuff in this truck so it's just a one of those things it's time to get on the next guy i guess so it's got power door locks on it power windows it's even got seat here i don't think they work but uh i might throw a seat cover in there's actually a fell apart now to cadillac escalator <laughs> Stuff out of you. There's actually a guy apart now to Cadillac Escalade. I think it's uh, an 02 or an 03. Maybe an 04. He's got, he's got the same kind of color leather seats in it, so I might kind of try to pick those up. That'd look pretty sweet inside this truck, too, I think. But, uh, well, I haven't started it in about four days, so I don't know. Maybe we'll see if it starts up. It does start and run. It's got short tube headers on it, an intake, a tune. And of course, straight pipe exhaust, so I don't think I've started it since Wednesday night for a friend of mine was over, so we'll see if it'll go. See the cab lights right now because it's daytime, but I'll probably throw the HID headlights in this one too, and then I'll put the HID fogs in it. And, hey, you know, it's just something to have fun with, right? So, I'm gonna kind of quit working on the white truck here. So, I'm just gonna use the white truck, I think, for the daily driver, and then I'll use the big truck for a play toy. So, yeah, the price was right on it, so, and uh. You know, I've got a buddy of mine. Actually, I even know the original owner of this truck, too. So, the guy that bought this thing brand new had uh, bought it to do the advertising for his workshop. Like, he's, he owns a four-wheel drive shop there in Newmarket on all forest truck accessories. Some of you guys that might know might know Jim there. So, that's a little shout-out for Jimmy. I bought lots of stuff off him over the years, too. So, yeah, it's something to play with and whatnot. So... I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, and see all these trucks guys are doing it and whatnot, and just, they call them money pitch, at least that's what I'm going to call this thing, money pit. Now, you know, it's got these airbags in the rear end, too. Now, as far as, other than cosmetic stuff, we've got, we're going to have to put a front diff in it, because these trucks have a tendency to blow those out. And then this has got no CV shafts now, because the diff's locked up, so... That'll be a scrapyard hunt, and I do believe the truck's got 373s in it. You've got to match your front diff ratio to your rear, so that way you're not breaking parts and transfer cases and whatnot. So, well, write down in the comment box what you guys think, and I do read you guys' comments, I just don't always get a chance to reply to them and whatnot, so, as you guys know, I'm a busy guy, but let me guys know what you think about our little project here, and, uh, We'll keep you guys posting and we'll have something to play with. I might even use this thing to draw the old tractor with. You never know what's going to happen. So, Oh, it's got 286,000K on it, but it's a 5.3 V8, so it will. They're a good, strong motor. I mean, every truck I've had had a 5.3 in it, so it never let me down yet. So, anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one.